two longtime media activists from the group Free Press have proposed a bold solution, a government intervention to save American journalism. In an article in The Nation magazine, Robert McChesney and John Nichols propose a multi-part journalism economic stimulus package. They call for all Americans to receive an annual tax credit for the first $200 they spend on daily newspapers, free postage for many periodicals, government funding for high school and college journalism projects, and a large expansion of funding for public and community broadcasting. To talk more about this, we're joined by Bob McChesney, co-founder of the media advocacy group Free Press and a professor at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. The commercial system of journalism, which has dominated in the United States for the past 150 years, is collapsing. It's disintegrating. And we're really left as a society with a basic option. Are we going to have journalism or not? One of the great problems of journalism in the United States in the past three decades has been the decreasing involvement of young people. Part of the problem, I think, is that we've seen a real cutback in school newspapers and radio stations in the last three decades. One thing we ought to do is make sure every high school, every middle school, every college has a good, solid, adequate funding base to do a, a newspaper and also to do uh, a radio station. The more kids get involved in creating journalism, and the more they're going to appreciate the good stuff. I think most Americans are not aware, as you have pointed out in many of your books, about the, the importance of the post office uh, in uh, allowing the development of this rich uh, newspaper tradition that we have in this country. In the 1830s, 90 percent of the traffic of the U.S. post office was newspapers and magazines. That was its basic job. And we've got to return to that point today. The condition of all these subsidies for student papers, for daily newspapers, for any publications get a postal subsidies. For community and public broadcasting, is everything that's done with these subsidies instantly goes online, is made free and accessible to everyone in the world who has access to it. So what we're really doing is creating a rich vein of quality material uh, that's available to everyone for the digital world, for the blogosphere to work with. Uh, so we should view it really as, as a step forward.